It was April, just after Fool's Day to be exact. One of those days where the mind wanders while the hands keep themselves busy. Like any other day, really. But this was the 10th day. Or the 11th. Or was it the 75th? No matter. Each day the same as the last, all blurring together since my gig at the local watering hole shuttered its windows, and I moved back in with my parents. Tending bar was never something I thought would last long term, just a side hustle, really, a way to fill this endless void and make a quick buck. It wasn't until that day in April I realized, perhaps it was I who was the fool. During a crisis, most young ladies would love to be home with their families. The catch is, bartending is the only thing they seem to love about me. Happy hour starts earlier and earlier these days. I wonder, if I left, would they even notice? Look at them, exhausting my talents, using me, milking me dry. It wasn't always like this. I had prospects, a plan for my future. I would never have expected to be cooped up at home, trapped in a never-ending, two-person, Friday night rush. I don't know what will kill me first, the virus or their unquenchable thirst. I'm not sure which one I prefer. These days, it seems my mind is engulfed by juices and mixers, liquor and liqueurs. The only garnish I yearn for is freedom. It's a perfect old-fashioned. And yet the taste disgusts me now. I need to cleanse my palate. Bring me a rich brulee, a savory confit. I'd even be happy with a fresh tartare. This life is awful. I don't want to be used anymore. If only they could see me as more than a mixologist. But they can never, will never know that my true passion is to become a world-renowned chef. You can cook? That's great. <laughs>